Hi everyone, my name is Vidur and I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. Uh, in this video today we are going to understand how to create zones uh, on the Mist dashboard on the floor plan and how we can add a virtual beacon uh, on top of it. Let me quickly go to the Mist dashboard. This is how it looks like and from, from my previous video you must have known that now I have an, an organization named Vidur under which I have created a test site and in the last video we uploaded a floor plan and added the access point after scaling the floor plan so we're going to go straight to there uh, straight to the page where we can see the uh, floor plan in the in the in location and live view once i click on that it will take me to the map where uh, i see the floor plan scaled and then one ap is also added here right now what i want to do is i want to create a zone in this uh, particular map so i'll just zoom in a bit click on beacons and zones here and try to add a, I have an option to add a zone and a beacon and a virtual add a zone and a, and a virtual beacon so I'll add a zone here for now click here and now I, I get this cursor moving I can just quickly dr uh, press and drag to the shape I want the zone to be like this is what I've created uh, you can create uh, simple zones with rectangle and square shape and if you want to have a zone which is a little distorted not clearly in a rectangle in a, or a square shape you can do something like this so I'll just click on save here for now uh, add this zone and I want to add one more zone let's say for example I'll click on add a zone once again and let's let's cover this zone here so I'm gonna quickly press and drag and cover this part here now if I want to extend the zone till here I can just so you see these two dots here right I can click on one let me bring it back here okay I can click on this dot and you see the moment I click on this there are two more dots created so I can actually drag the center part here I can click on this now and two more dots created in between right I can use these dots to drag and create another dot in between here here and here and I will drag it here just hold it and drag it now I created a zone which is not clearly a rectangle or a square which is how which is probably in, in real time that's that's the kind of zones you might you might want to create whether it's a conference room or any any retail store in the office uh, any retail store or any any room in the office you can you can do it through the, through through this way uh, let me quickly uh, while I'm here I'll just quickly select one zone and edit it here from I can press here and give it a name as uh, uh, you know zone test one and click on save let's see what else we can do I can remove a zone from here I can and then I can also click a quick save here that's good so now what I have is I've got two zones created in the uh, in my in my floor plan okay now the next thing I want to do is I want to click uh, beacons and zones and I can actually go ahead and add a virtual beacon so you know what 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 beacons are right and and what virtual beacons are so i'll just give you an example as well once i click on add a virtual beacon this is this one is created automatically i can drag it and put it where the ap is near the ap so this is just uh this is just a point in the in the, in the network where i can actually uh just drag in and and put the virt virtual beacon here and, and use it to send out a personalized message uh, if i select here and do an edit from here at the bottom of the screen I'll get let let me name this virtual beacon as uh, test beacon and message would be welcome to the house and I can select whatever transmit power I want to select for this particular virtual beacon so what it's doing is instead of putting a physical battery operated discrete beacon on the uh, you know on the ceiling and configuring it to send a personalized personalized message we are configuring uh, we are using the missed access point to create a virtual beacon on the on the uh, you know uh, on the wall or on the ceiling and just configure it which, with whichever message you want to send it out with right and click on save this is used now you see the name has been changed to test beacon this is used in multiple environments where you know people are carrying the mobile app and they when, when the moment they walk in the vicinity of this beacon to whichever power level we selected they will be pushed with a personalized message that we configured uh, here that is welcome to the house now I'll, I'll just click on save for now and I'll show you how we can view this uh, this is a hamburger icon here on top right I click here 
and now I can see by the way mist is the only platform which has all these five six vectors showing in one in a single pane of glass no other no other OEM does it right now so I can I can see the app clients clients which are running the application Wi-Fi clients the BLE clients which are running the which which have a Bluetooth signal coming out of them assets are the ones you know where uh, which 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 are marked as the assets something which we want to track down in the network this is something which we can do it do it with uh, show virtual beacons and show virtual beacons coverage right now I see a virtual beacon on the map but I want to see what coverage it is emitting I'll click on that now if you see there's a, there's a circle which is created around the virtual beacon showing the power level it is set to I can click on I can do a quick edit here and I can increase the power level or lower down the power level depending on what I want and I can increase the size of the cell of the virtual beacon now anybody in the vicinity of this virtual beacon will be receiving a message welcome to the house uh, of course this has to be done on the on the mobile application uh, which the client is running on the ground and the message will be pushed this is how you create a zone and this is how you create a virtual beacon and then uh, uh, customize it and add a message what what more you can do is let me just quickly uh, you know for now let me just disk and show you know and check that now we have a zone uh, I also want to see any BLE clients or assets in my vicinity of the access point. So I see a bunch of them. I've got a few few Bluetooth devices activated in my house. Uh, some contact IO batches, some some other devices around it as well. Uh, what what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, mark one of them as an asset. For example, now I want to see this contact IO. I, I see I see this is the one. Let me try to mark this as an asset. I clicked on it. This is what it is. I selected it clicked on uh, basically let me see properties I can go to properties it takes me to the other page of BLE clients I'm going to locate this client as an asset now I want this client to be located as an asset in the MIST dashboard I, I can give the name as test BLE badge and click on save now the moment I did that this particular asset test BLE badge this particular asset turned green right now assets are the ones in green test BLE badge is the one I created this is the test BLE asset which I had earlier test BLE badge so the assets will turn green if you see the hamburger icon once again the green ones are the asset and the blue ones are the any, any BLE, BLE, BLE uh, devices so any device that is emitting a BLE signal whether it could be your smartwatch your mobile phone your laptop anything that comes that emits a BLE signal will be marked as uh, as a as a blue BLE, BLE BLE device here right so this is this is pretty much how you mark it as an asset or if you want to select it you can select it here you can check the properties you can check the location history if you want you can check the RF environment what the client is going through at the moment and it and you will have all the good data around it so this is how you create a zone add a virtual beacon and uh, mark the BLE, BLE client as an asset uh, this would be very helpful in a lot of people running the POC when they want to deploy uh, the, the you know when they want to deploy uh, the floor plan with and adding the APs marking the zones and adding a virtual beacon also so uh, hopefully this was helpful guys if you have any questions do reach out to me on the comment section and I will be more than happy to address them uh, thank you guys you have a good day